torn away by someone who decides you look good enough to sell. All right, so I'm just gonna go put some money in the bank real quick, and then we have a event to go to. It's uh, my friend Haley, she's putting on an event that helps human trafficking. So that's what we're doing today. One time I was at the bank and the FBI showed up and... Did you see your deposit today? Yeah. Twenty dollars. what I have, um, what, what types of things um, kind of relate. Like, I was trying to find my voice as a choreographer or as a dancer, as a creator. And um, between a couple of the pieces that I've created in the past, I noticed a through line. I noticed that there was a lot of like floor work, a lot of contorted movement. And I was just trying to ask myself, like, what is my movement trying to tell me? And as I was working on um, figuring this out, I, I became more aware of the issues of human trafficking. And I just had this eye-opening moment knowing that my pieces that I've created recently are, like, talking about human trafficking and the issues of exploitation. People take a lot of things for granted. The food they eat, the clothes they wear, their friends and families. And you think sometimes people know that they take those things for granted, but control, that's something that gets taken for granted every second of every day and never gets mentioned. Well, I'm saying it now. If you have control of your choices, be grateful. Be grateful that you get to say what is done because that freedom can be taken from you like that. Be grateful that you get to say what is done to your body. That freedom is priceless and it gets overlooked, but it can disappear so quickly. It can be torn away by someone who decides you look good enough to sell, to put a label on you, a price tag for someone to own you for a while. Everyone feels broken at some point, um, but that you're still beautiful despite it. Never find your way back to 
We sit in these classrooms to talk about the issues of our day. One raises their hand and says they have a hard time earning pay. Well, let me tell you something. Do you know if the people that slay, slay the lives of women and children worldwide? Please, friend, I beg you, open your eyes to the world that is hidden, to the world of human trafficking that no one talks about because it's uncomfortable to your ears. Uncomfortable to your ears? Well, imagine a world of constant beatings to your body so severe that death is a constant companion. Decomposition of your mind because you're forced to take heavy drugs in order to control you. Degradation of your soul because you're treated as a soulless person. Your worth is your body and your body only. Decomposition, I'm sorry, permanent scars to your emotions because somehow the perpetrator gains your love. Imagine living a world like this, a living hell like this. What they live is true, was true discomfort. You want me to stop there? Well, I can't stop there and I won't stop because I can't bear this anymore. Why isn't this talked about more? Why isn't this a major issue? Why isn't this on headline news? Why instead are people more aware of the legalization of the plants they smoke while women and children get choked, choked to servitude? Now with your permission, I would like to state my mission to those healthy, unbruised ears. I'm asking you to adhere to the words that can spread tall spheres. In the Bible, it states that by small means, the Lord can bring about great things. Small means is in stopping the production of music that supports human trafficking with songs like It's Hard Being a Pimp. Small means is in stopping the sexuality of our culture and our media, which is kindling the demand for sex. Small means is in being conscious consumers of the clothes, the food, the stuff that we buy, ensuring that they weren't brought about by forced labor. Small means is in halting mass production of pornography, especially child pornography, which just happens to be a $3 billion industry. Small means is in influencing people to stay away from pornography and help those that are addicted. Small means is in showing gratitude for your freedom and helping victims of human trafficking to be liberated. Small means is in spreading the word of human trafficking and allowing those uncomfortable ears to hear where true discomfort lies. It lies in the lives of human trafficking victims. Now this is what should be talked about the issues of our day. Thank you. All right, here with my friend <laughs> Haley. Hello. And tell us a little bit about what you do. So I, my name's Haley and I run the Humans Against Trafficking Club here at EVU. I, we do various events. We put on tonight a human trafficking exposed through the arts event. And we had two survivors speak, Lisa Bautista and Lauren Crossan. And they both do amazing work with um, human trafficking survivors and victims. And um, Whitney Collins, get over here. She <laughs> is the mastermind of this Whitney. event. <laughs> <laughs> and so she did a wonderful piece illustrating human trafficking through um, Modern dance. Through modern dance, yes. yeah. And then we also did another piece uh, later on, and it was improvisational to a monologue. So. Yes. So yeah. we basically pull everyone's talents together. If you can do art, if you can do music, dance, anything, anything, um, we put together awareness stuff about human trafficking. Cool. Thank you. And links to these things will be in the description below. If you go to UVU or you're around the Provo Orem area, please come and support our St. Patrick's Salsa Social for Survivors. All of the proceeds are going to go towards helping survivors of human trafficking um, overcome their trauma. So have fun and donate, and we'll see you there. This Wednesday, um, March 9th at 8 p.m. Yeah, my wheel is still acting up. It's doing a little bit better. I figured out how to uh, work with it a little bit better, so that's good at least. All right, so human trafficking. It's a real problem, and quite honestly, I didn't even know uh, that it was a problem until I started going to these events. So, you know, a lot of prostitution, um, you know, even strippers and pornography is involved uh, you know this human trafficking stuff has to stop and you know people need to realize that women have worth and this stuff is not okay so 
yeah, I, I learned quite a bit. Um, anyway, I, I like I said before, I will have uh, links to these sites in the description below. And, you know, I think uh, one way that everybody can help stop human trafficking is, you know, on your social media, and I do this, if I see any type of uh, pornography or anything like that, I'll just report it. You know because in a way I feel like that's doing my part so I would just extend you know an invitation to you guys to do the same or do something else in your community to help stop human trafficking it's you know it's a real issue so yeah anyway uh, tell me in the comments below what you think about this subject I want to know thanks for watching guys I will talk to you next vlog